Good morning. Today we are looking at some of the exercises of section 7.2, the Fundamental Theorem of Calculus. Last time we had looked at the Fundamental Theorem of Calculus and there are two versions. The first version says that the area function has as its derivative the original function. What more more interested in is the second version of the Fundamental Theorem of Calculus that says if I have a function f and an antiderivative, any antiderivative, then I can use that to evaluate the definite integral. And I can do that without taking the limit of Riemann sums. So when we're looking at the fundamental theorem, there really are two types of problems we're going to do in this section. The first type of problem, someone has given us an antiderivative and claims it's an antiderivative, and we're told, verify that it's an antiderivative. In the second type of problem, they've just given us the function and say, you should be able to guess or guess and check the antiderivative. And so we'll look a little bit at doing that. As I said, the exercises fall into two general categories. And we're just going to do the parts that are particular to this section out of some of those problems. And so I'm looking at problem one which says I have a function and someone has told me an antiderivative. Now, this isn't the only antiderivative. If I change the 7 to a 23 or a pi or a 0, it'll still be an antiderivative. But you're told verify it's an antiderivative and then use the fundamental theorem of calculus. So we're going to look at this and say we have capital F of x equal to 2x squared plus 5x plus 7. And when we take the derivative of that, f prime of x, why that will be 4x plus 5 plus 0. And so we have verified that this is, in fact, equal to little f of x. So that was the first part we needed to do. We needed to verify that little f is the derivative of capital F. And now we're going to look at the integral from 1 to 5 of f of x dx and say that's capital F of 5 minus capital F of 1, which is, and I'm going to put parentheses here, 2 times 25 plus 5 times 5 plus 7 minus 2 times 1 plus 5 times 1 plus 7, which is equal to 75 plus 7, which is 82 minus 14, which is 68. And so this is a problem we've been able to do by being told capital F of x is an antiderivative of little f of x, and once we have that, using the fundamental theorem of calculus. So this is the basic way to do several of the problems. Do one or more of these problems. I'm going to look at problem number two. f of x equals 6x squared plus 3 and capital F is 2x cubed plus 3x minus 1. So looking at it, capital F of x is 2x cubed plus 3x minus 2. Capital F prime of x is then 6x squared plus 3, and that's little f of x. So since the derivative of capital F is little f, we can use that and evaluate the integral from minus 2 to 4 of little f of x dx. And by the fundamental theorem of calculus, that's capital F of 4 minus capital F of minus 2. I'm going to look now at problem 8. Problem 8 
asked me to evaluate an integral and it's given me a cubic function for little f of f and it notes that we're making a guess that it should be a fourth degree function for the polynomial. So I have little f of x is x cubed plus 9x squared plus 7x minus 3. I'm going to guess that capital F of x is ax to the fourth plus bx cubed plus cx plus d, d cx squared plus dx plus e, just some fourth degree polynomial. I can compute capital F prime of x and get 4ax cubed plus 3bx squared plus 2cx plus d. And for these two things to be equal, what I need is that, cap that little f of x and capital F prime of x are the same thing. So for that to be true, I need that 1 equals 4a or a equals 1 fourth, 9 is equal to 3b, or b is equal to 3, 7 is equal to 2c, or c equals 7 over 2, minus 3 is equal to d, and I can take anything I want for e, so I'm going to do the easiest one and let e equal 0. And so my capital F of x is 1 fourth x to the fourth plus 3x cubed plus 7 halves x squared minus 3x and my integral from 1 to 5, my integral from 1 to 5 of little f of x dx is going to be capital F of 5 minus capital F of 1. I can do the same technique on the next problem, problem 9, where little f of x is e to the 2x. For the next problem, problem 9, I'm going to look at f of x equals e to the 2x. Now when I try to take an antiderivative, since I think exponentials have derivatives that look a lot like them, my guess is going to be capital F of x is some constant a times e to the 2x. Now I simply take f prime of x and I get the derivative is 2 times a e to the 2x. Well, for f, capital F prime of x to equal, equal little f of x, I need that 2a equals 1 or a equals 1 half. Thus, I make my capital F of x equal to 1 half e to the 2x and I can use that in solving my problem with the fundamental theorem of calculus. That gives us how to do the basic problems we're doing. Thank you.